Let's make a plot of the pressure contours now. I will go to velocity magnitude contours, um, and I'll just duplicate that rather than start from scratch. And I'll call that pressure contours. Say OK. And deselect velocity magnitude contour so that won't be shown in the view anymore and double click on pressure contours and this is something you need to remember that you need to double click and make sure that you're editing pressure contours I tend to keep forgetting that and the variable will be pressure and say apply and as opposed to the velocity which has you know variation from the axis to the wall, here we see that there's very little variation of the pressure across the pipe, okay? So pressure and velocity behave quite differently. And we see that along the pipe, the pressure is decreasing, which is good because we need the, you know, that means that the pressure gradient is pushing the fluid particle along the, uh, in this direction, which is what we expect. And you can see that the pressure change is of the order of five pascals, which is tiny compared to one atmosphere. And you can see the advantage of working in terms of the gauge pressure. And at the outlet, the gauge pressure is, you know, it looks like it's zero. So that's a check on our pressure boundary condition. And we can show that, you know, in the fully developed region, this variation should be linear and, you know, um, I'll get you to make a plot of the pressure along the center line and check if you know you're getting a linear variation that's a constant pressure gradient in the in the fully developed region you can also and and the other thing to check is you know at the inlet the pressure is about five pascals so you know we gave it an initial guess of zero pascals and the solver has changed that to to five pascals and I can also stretch this in the radial direction to see this a little bit better. It can be a challenge kind of visualizing these um, long narrow channels or, or pipes. And so I can go to view and say apply scale and let's say, you know, scale it by a factor of four. And that'll bring out the variation a little bit better, but one has to be careful about you know, using the probe with this and so on. And you might also want to turn off the wireframe. Um, but I'll keep the, you know, I'll keep the wireframe and I'll just not apply scale. 